never thought we'd be coming back to Lemuria so soon. Yeah, we just have to get past the Kraken first. Hmm. Just keep sleeping. <laughs> Very careful. You know me. And that's why he said it. Ah, Lemuria. I can't believe we found our grandparents' communicator in Lemuria. Believe it. I'm cleaning it. I also can't believe you're cleaning something. Bottom line, they found Lemuria before us, so they're alive. Whoa! Look! Gramps has been messing with this! They recorded something! <coughs> Hello, son. Hello, Keiko. Greetings, Fontaine and Aunt. When we finally found Lemuria, <laughs> Catherine figured you'd find it soon, too. So, we thought we'd leave this message here. In case we just miss each other. Wow! Go, Grandma! We've been stuck here for three months. We, um, had an encounter with the Kraken. Not friendly. He's the perfect blend of giant arms and anger issues. Did some damage to our thumb. It's taken this long to fix it properly. But now, listen. Here's what we're gonna do. Ah, that wasn't me! It died! <sighs> Grandpa, come on! What were you going to do? My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectans, and we explore the deep. Got to be here somewhere. But we've already been over every inch of Lemuria when we were searching for Ant. We would have seen something, surely. Oh, Grandma and Grandpa don't have nights. They went outside. They'd make contact with this algae. They'd be turned to... Stone. I know. Check every statue. Whoa! Sorry. Sorry. No trace of them. Or their submarine, and that's a hard thing to miss. Think, where would they go? Found something! Look, 6,000 years ago, this column was waiting for a statue to go right there. It's still waiting. The statue was lying here, a bronze statue of the Golden Child. A mythical figure who would herald a new age for Lemuria. Builders were ready to erect it. Then the Kraken came along. The people fled. Lemuria fell. So where's the statue? Exactly. No debris. No trace. Marius, exactly how did this help find my grandparents? Someone took it. Maybe they did. Of course, maybe they didn't. But. It's possible. I've definitely found something here. Where? Up here. But now, listen. Here's what we're gonna do. Communicator is back up. Transmitting. Today's the day before. Happy 14th birthday for tomorrow, Fontaine. Thanks, Grandma. So, they recorded this four months ago. Might have missed your birthday, but we're gonna pick up an amazing souvenir for you all. Hmm. I wonder... It's too big to carry aboard. But listen, if anything happens, we're leaving the same way we came in. Through the back door. After everything we went through, 
There's another way in? Yeah. Wanna bet this is the back door? So, all going well, we'll probably see you before you ever see this. Although, we've got to get past whatever lives in that hole. And that's all there is. Is this paint? The same color as your grandparents sew. What are we waiting for? All we have to do is follow. Let's do this. like a lava cone or something? I don't think so. And you're the expert geologist since when? It doesn't smell right. Neither do you. Oh, so funny, Fontaine. When in doubt, go with the smell joke. Huh. Lucky one of us is mature. Ah, look. Life always gives us choices. I'm trying to think like Jacques and Catherine. We'll go with the newest looking tunnel. Look! More paint! We're on the right track. Cool tunnel. You think it's handmade? Hmm. Are they tool marks? Claw marks? Maybe teeth marks? Hard to say. Maybe all of the above. Hmm. The soil is really unstable here. Okay, unstable tunnel. My least favorite kind. That didn't come from inside, did it? Definitely outside. Oh, that's not good. Your grandfather mentioned Whatever lives in that hole. All oh, right. Is everyone okay? I'm okay. Me too. Maybe the props are still free. Nope. Buried all over. I'll try the thrusters. No good. Hey, Mom. What about the cargo hold door? It retracts. Let's give it a shot. It's not moving. That's it. I'm out of ideas. Port camera, starboard, stern, Ugh, dirt everywhere. This might be what happened to Grandma and Grandpa. We don't know that. Well, right now, all we know for sure is we're going nowhere. We're going nowhere. Wait for me. What's the hurry? There's so much to see. <laughs> there is. And if you hurry, you'll miss it. That makes no sense. Please, let's wait a moment. Um, sure. Can we go now? We're going nowhere. Shh. <gasps> Don't move, Fontaine. For me. <sighs> See? Oh. In the ocean, to get what you want, sometimes you just need to stop moving. Thanks, Grandma. Let's get her photo. Then, I'll race you back. Hey! Fontaine! I saw a turtle! Did you see anything? Not much to see. Not much to see out there. 
but the exterior hull sensors are detecting organic traces in the soil. Don't know what that was, but the pressure on the hull is increasing. I pride myself on being rather good under pressure. Hmm. That was an attempt at humor. <coughs> Something pushed us. Dirt shouldn't move like this. Those organic traces are animal. DNA analysis suggests Eunus Aphroditus. And in English? Bristle worms or sand strikers. Pressure on the hull is still increasing. Narius, when Lemuria was above ground, were there sand strikers in the water? 6,000 years ago? I don't think so. You don't think you're 6,000 years old? Oh, I am. I just don't think they were sand strikers. But I wasn't much of a fisherman. Okay, they're hunters. They dig into the sand. Or rock, obviously. And they wait, totally buried for their prey. When they detect vibrations, they strike. Oh, they sound like fun. No, they don't. But I have an idea. Excellent! Mom saves the day! I want to vibrate the Aranax to mimic prey. That way, the Sand Striker may come for us. Yes! See? Excellent! Cool plan! Wait, THE Sand Striker? I think there's only one of them. A big one. And you want it to come and eat us? Mom, as something of an expert in bad ideas, can I suggest we find a plan B? Plan A first, Ant. The Sand Striker will dig. It'll loosen the soil here. Hopefully, we can use that to free ourselves. I vote yes. That's unusually clear and decisive of you. See? Good under pressure. Okay. Let's do it. Right. I'm starting the engines and putting the props just out of sync. Okay, that's working. Pressure on the hull is increasing again, Keiko. It can handle much more of this. Look! <sighs> oh, quick! I see it. It feels like we're floating. Let's take a chance. Oxygen. A vent of burst of it in the Sand Striker's pack. It might just disorientate. Releasing now. It swallowed it. Oh, it wasn't even a mouthful. Therefore, I wouldn't even be an appetizer. What animal would eat 6,000 year old food? I'm aged. I'm a rare delicacy. <gasps> Light. Yes! Go for it, Mom! Yes! We escaped! You think? <laughs> yeah, I stand corrected! Yikes! He's still hungry! Whoa! It burped! And I felt it! He's gotta get tired before we do, right? I don't know if worms get tired. But you're the expert! 
No one's an expert on that. <sighs> He's gonna get tired. He's gonna get tired. <laughs> the lights. I don't think it sees us. Are you sure about that? I can't take that chance. Full reverse! Don't move, Fontaine. In the ocean, to get what you want, sometimes you just need to stop moving. Attracted by vibrations, unlike fish. I know! Fontaine? Don't move! What's happening? Shh! I hope you know what you're doing, Fontaine. Me too. what you want sometimes you just need to stop moving oh yeah sure you think fontaine's cracking under the pressure i think fontaine's just saved the day is it gone kiko let's see great work fontaine Great work, Grandma. I'm gonna slip away from here, very gently. Do you think Grandma and Grandpa ran into that thing? Impossible to say, but I hope not. Their sub is way smaller than ours. Something metallic ahead. 300 meters on the seafloor. Mm, how big is it? Too small to be a submarine. That's good. That doesn't rule out being part of a submarine. There! No way! 
there is. Could this be the golden child? It certainly is. The one you last saw 6,000 years ago? And still as fresh as the day I saw it. That's the souvenir. Grandma and Grandpa made it out of Lemuria. It sure looks that way. But they lost one of their sub's arms. Too big to carry aboard, they said. Will, we've had no other metallic readings since we left Lemuria. Only this one. They got away. They got away! And we may as well collect our own souvenir. It's a good day. Catherine and Jacques got out of Lemuria safely four months ago. Hmm. But then, nothing. Why haven't they made contact? Can't they surface? But even if they can't, it is baffling. Where would they go? This way, towards the nearest land. It would make more sense to go this way, heading home. <sighs> Your grandparents could be anywhere. This could be a very long search. So, we're explorers. We'll scour the whole ocean if we have to, Dad. <laughs> the whole ocean, huh? Yeah. People think the sea is so big, but it's only like 70% of the planet. That's totally doable, Dad. Let's go find them. Okay, let's do it. All right! We're getting close. I can feel it in me bones. Me too. The Flora Del Mar will make us rich. Oh, is it treasure then, this flower? <sighs> The Flora Del Mar is the biggest sunken treasure ship of all time. Worth billions. Billions? Ooh, that's nearly a... Oh, I carry the three million. No, no, Daddy boy. Don't try to count. So in our reading, Captain, the Aranax by the shape of it, they're somewhere near the top of the trench. What? And another reading. Something big. It's below us. Wait a minute. The Nectons aren't looking for treasure. They're hunting monsters! Ah, how can you tell? We're leaving. No! We can't walk away from the Florida Del Mar. Forget it, Ross. Nothing but an overblown yard. Not worth risking the crew for. But it's the biggest treasure in- Listen, forget it! <laughs> Pirates do not leave treasure behind! <gasps> there is a monster! <laughs> My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectins, and we explore the deep. enough maps there? Uh, that should do it. We're gonna find them today. If your grandparents' sub traveled west from Lemuria, they likely passed through the Malacca Strait. What are we waiting for? Let's start searching. It's the busiest shipping lane in the whole world. Then we better start now if we're gonna search it all. Uh, how about this trench? Looks deep. Deep and dark. We can't search every little nook and cranny from the Aranax. Ant, why don't you go take a look in the White Knight? I was so hoping you'd say that. Hey, Jeffrey, what's the difference between a nook and a cranny? Yeah, I have no idea either. 
We'll start searching the rest of the strait. Fontaine, you're on sonar. Nereus, up front. I'll monitor the external cameras. Take it slow, Keiko. We don't want to miss anything. Sure is dark down here. Keep an eye out, Jeffrey. We don't want to miss anything. I really hope we don't find any sign of Gramps and Grandma down. <gasps> oh, no! You! You. What are you? Just waiting for a friend. In a trench? Mm-hmm. Looks like the claw took a hit. Eh, just a passing monster. Huh? That's why you're here, isn't it? It is now. Hey, wait! Oh, sorry. Did you need something? I've got no power. My fuses are cooked. And? And I don't need help from a Necton. Well, unless you want to wait for the friend you obviously just made up, I'm your only hope. <laughs> we need to search every inch of the ocean floor. And every trench. Which reminds me, we should have heard from Ant by now. Ant, are you there? Hmm, he must be in a nook. Or a cranny. Open up! I can't give you new fuses from out here. Huh? Manual override it is! every time. Got a manual override for that? At least Jeffrey's happy. Who cares if the fish is happy? Maybe we should cut our losses and leave the Red Claw behind? My dad would make me walk the plank if I abandoned the Red Claw. Besides, I didn't exactly ask permission to take it, so I can't leave till I get what I came for. Which is? You first. You're hunting monsters, right? What? No. Tell your fish to stop staring. Jeffrey, don't be rude to our host. How much longer will this take? Slightly longer than expected. Madeline, where are you? Where's your sister? Huh? Find her! Of course, Captain. Any chance you've changed your mind about leaving? No point losing the Red Claw and our lives. You really don't know my father. The Flora Del Mar isn't worth it. The Flora Del what? Oh, it's a Portuguese ship that sunk in the Strait of Malacca in 1511. Biggest undiscovered sunken treasure of all time, I think. Yeah? Uh, never heard of it. Sure. <sighs> this thing's got a mind of its own. <laughs> Can that thing carry us both? No problem. So, we're going? Anything to get away from that fish. <laughs> what was that? Oh no, here it comes again. Jeffrey? What happened? Madeline? It's okay. We're okay. Are all Nectons this cheerful? Nah, you're lucky you got me. I think it was Bakunawa. Come again? Bakunawa, a creature from Philippine mythology. That's what rammed us. It's okay. Most people haven't heard of it. According to me... Bakunawa is a serpent-like creature responsible for eclipses and earthquakes. 
But if that was a monster from Philippine legend, I'd wager it was a school of sequoia. Mermen with fish-like bodies and tentacles. <gasps> or maybe Seri Kaboja, a sea devil from Malayan myth. You know your local myths. Have you ever seen it? Seri Kaboja, I mean. No, not yet. But I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Try me. Hmm. I think... I think Madeline took the red claw. Ooh, you're some kind of genius. She disobeyed me. Again! That's mutiny, and mutineers deserve no mercy! But we're going back for her, right? There's a monster back there, Captain! Nectons, too! I hate both those things! <laughs> but it's Madeline. Turn this stuff around! Aye, aye, Captain! And then, just as the ray was about to annihilate the Aranax, we force-fed it lightning from its own electrical storm! Whoa! I wonder why it didn't eat us. The manta ray? No, our monster. Well, if there's one thing I've learned after years of researching sea monsters, puny humans are not part of their agenda. Hmm. You are puny. Probably a little stringy, too. Ha! I'd be a prized delicacy for any sea monster. Well, swim out there and get help. If you don't make it, I'll make my escape while the monster's busy chewing on its prized delicacy. <laughs> Saying yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're not friends. Of course not. You're one of the worst people I've ever met. Really? You're not just saying that? I really work at it. It shows. You're terrible. Thank you. Uh-oh. Good thinking. And are you there? Ant, come in. He's probably just out of range. Still, I better go check on him. Okay, while you and Ant search the trench, we'll move on to the next sector. Madeline, for the last time, I order you to return to the Orca! Dad. <laughs> Captain? Yelling at her on the radio won't bring her back. Madeline, this is your final last chance, you hear? Maybe she can't hear. I mean, could we get a little closer? We're close enough! What? Are you scared? I'm only scared for the welfare of everyone on this sofa. <laughs> so, why don't you go out there and find your sister? <sighs> All right. on the tracker. So where are you, Ant? Huh? Aya! Finn, what are you? Uh, you are so... Dashing in scuba gear? I know. Admit it, you're glad to see me. I'll be glad to see the back of your... <laughs> <sighs> Way too deep down here. Well, I never should have let you in. Any pirate worth their salt knows it's bad luck to have a fish aboard. We should send him to get help. You up for it, Jeffrey? That's the spirit. You put a lot of faith in a fish. I have more faith in him than most people. Oh, my mistake. Go, Jeffrey! Better you get eaten than me! Don't listen, Jeffrey. You're barely snack size, but you'll buy us a little time. Keep going. I believe in you. Finn, can you hear me? Finn! Come on, pirate boy. Oh! 
Oh, sorry to interrupt you. I knew you were glad to see me. You. I'm glad I didn't have to watch you being eaten by a monster. That would have been uh, gross. It's okay. I'm here now. I'll keep you safe. You know I just saved your life, right, pirate boy? The Aranax! If you're here to ask about treasure, monsters, or missing children... The Daily Boy, the radio comms! Aye, aye! <laughs> Not that one! Sorry, Captain! <laughs> Not that one, either! Switch on the left, Daddy Boy! <laughs> there it is! Any other orders, Captain? I'm so tired. As I was saying, if you're here to ask about treasure, monsters, or missing children, I have no comment. Ant, are you there? Ant, come in. Hmm? More quality time for you and me. Ugh. I need to find my brother. And I need to find my sister. We have so much in common. We have nothing in common. You're a pirate looking for treasure, and we're looking for... Looking for what? My... grandparents. They're missing? Aunt, come in, Aunt. What is that? Jeffrey! Jeffrey! Oh, buddy, how are you? It's been ages. Have you been working out? Don't mind him. Where's Aunt? Yes, finally. Very nice. But has your fish saved us yet? He will. Come on, Jeffrey. Aunt, Aunt, come in. Can you hear me? Fontaine, I read you. See? Have faith in the fish. Uh, what's he doing here? I'm helping. Yet to be demonstrated. You okay, Madeline? I'm stuck in here with the nectin. It's as bad as it gets. I take it you met the monster. It was awesome! It was the size of a bus! No! Two buses! Did you see how many tentacles it had? Had to be at least a hundred. Maybe two hundred. That can't be good. It's not Bakunawa. It's a sperm whale fighting a giant squid! Awesome! Thanks for the explanation, but... No! One more time, Hammerhead. What monster? I should be asking you. Monster hunting's your business, after all. Anyone! Fontaine! Dad, you there? Finn, is that you? I found Maddie. We need help! We're coming! I'm coming, son!
What? Madeline, think of all of us and Dad. How would he feel if he never saw you again? I bet you he'll feel worse about losing my soil samples. I don't believe that for a second. So bad, especially compared to you. Sorry you didn't find what you were looking for. That's okay. I did. Sometimes she annoys me so much it hurts. But I fought off a sea monster to save her. You didn't do that. I'll keep an eye out in my travels, okay? For... Your grandparents. That's a big ocean. Happy to lend another set of eyes. Family's important. Thank you, Finn. See ya, pirate boy. Looks like you didn't lose all of your soil sample. Catch. <gasps> Time to go. Monster hunting! You too, Madeline. Ooh, new bestie? Of course not. She's one of the worst people I've ever met. Not a chance! What floor del mar is there? Then why aren't the Nectons interested? It's not but an empty rumor. Let it go, lass. Look, Peru, it's there! The biggest treasure of all time! Along with the biggest monster! There's no monster, just a whale and a squid. A squid whale? Well, that settles it. We are never going near that trench, as long as I'm captain. You'll go back for the rest when you're the captain of your own ship. So, Ant, exactly why did you abandon the White Knight? Well, strap yourselves in. This story has everything. Pirates, mystery, monsters, treasure. And the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You mean you and... Just tell your story. Okay, here goes. Once upon a time, there was a brave and handsome undersea explorer named Antaeus Necton. And it's already fiction. 